And before we start the game review, it would be really awesome if you ladies and gents out there could click the like button. And also arcade tap the subscribe button. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to click that notification bell. Keep you updated on new awesome videos to come with yours truly. And now, let's start the game review. Good morning, my sexy maggots. It's Cindy here, and welcome for today's game review. And today we are going to review and play Capcom's The Punisher. The Punisher is a beat-em-up arcade game developed and released by Capcom 1993. This beautiful masterpiece was directed by Noritaka Funamizu and game designer Akira Yasuda, also known as Akiman. Like in most of Capcom's previous beat-em-ups, Capcom's The Punisher has a range of usable weapons and a comic-style presentation as expected, like in Marvel titles. And to be honest, ladies and gents, it's a freaking great approach, dude. Since this title gives a similar formula towards Capcom's final fight game formula, so we should see a great impression from the Punisher. Okay, let's lock and load on these poor bastards in Capcom's The Punisher. So, in The Punisher, the story takes place in New York City. Frank Castle spends his time with his wife, Maria, and their two children, Frank Jr. and Lisa. But that shit was soon cut very short. His family and himself had witnessed a murder in New York City Central Park by the mob, which leads them to kill Frank's wife and his kids in front of him. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait! But these fuckers soon failed to realize that this man wasn't an ordinary man either. Frank Castle was once a Vietnam vet, fought in the Xi'an Kong War and the Iraq War, plus to add icing on the cake, ladies and gents. He's also a United States Marine as well. So, yeah. <laughs> the mob is so fucked right now. They mess with the wrong man. So, in The Punisher, as the first player, you pick Frank Castle. And as the second player, you'll play as Nick Fury from S.H.I.E.L.D. So, right away, The Punisher's controls are really good. Just as expected, the game feels exactly like Final Fight. Quick and snappy hit junctions, that's smooth as butter, too. And the level designs are done very well. Dude, the first stage boss, Scully doesn't realize what he got himself into. I'm loving how chilled the bus driver was, dude. Like he doesn't hear or see these guys getting killed on the bus. Now you're all in big, big trouble. So after killing everyone on the bus, Frank gives no fucks. After getting the info he needed to Kingpin's whereabouts, Frank blows Scully's chin right off his fucking face. Look at his face now! Now I will say, you will get a bit annoyed with the enemies rushing up behind you. But the instant combat role helps with such encounters like these. Dude! The weapons in the Punisher are amazing. Frank has an instant auto-aim once he targets the enemies. The blurry of shots looks so cool. Even when enemies are behind him, he can do overhand over the shoulder shots as well. God, this game is getting better and better the more I play it. Okay, it's time we freed the ladies here. Oh, nice, a flamethrower. Look like it's time for a barbecue, ladies and gents. It burns! Oh! 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 So we reach the guard droid, and dude, the damn thing hits really hard. I mean, yeah, like in most beat-em-up games, you want to evade and space around the area to hit in between the enemy's hitbox. That's if you want to survive. Truly, and I mean truly, if you want to beat these damn bosses that are in the Punisher, it's about timing their attacks and abuse the weapons that are in front of Frank to use at his disposal, ladies and gents. Okay, we are in the waterfront warfare, and another thing to add to, the attack mix-ups when firing a weapon is just amazing, but it's best not to get overly excited. The fucking enemies here can for sure 
piss on your parade if you're not careful. Really, bitch? They had to gun me down like that? Let's see how they like it when I do the same thing to these bastards. Uh-huh. Eat barrel, bitch. How about some wood, dude? Oh, great, we got ninjas. That's fine. I got some pipe for them. How you like that? Huh? Huh? What the fuck was that? Whoa! That bitch. Just eat Zuna drop on my damn head. Goodbye. Eat concrete, bitch! After that bit of crowd control, we enter the warehouse and face Bonebreaker and his goons. And to be really honest with you, ladies and gents, I was shooting, dying, shooting, dying some more, shooting some more, and of course, dying some more. But after that, that was the last time of getting fucked over. We finally blew that half-made bastard to bits and moved on to the next area. Fucking finally, this boss was really fucking annoying, dude. Oh cool, we got a similar bonus barrel breaking stage, just like in Street Fighter 2. Okay, looks like we are in some type of poppy field farm underneath the state of Arizona. It's time to fuck up another plan of Kingpin. God, I'm loving the shoot mechanic and the Punisher dude. It doesn't get boring at all. Dude, the way Frank does massive mix up with the bat and knives are on a killer instinct level, dude. Master combo. And oh yeah, yeah, the rushdown attack for sure keeps you surviving longer, that's for sure. I mean, the dash and rush attacks help a lot, but fuck! <laughs> I'm highly impressed with myself. Okay, it's time to grab this giant slab of meat and, oh fuck you! Are you fucking serious, dude? Just when I was so close, the green bastard headbutt me. Okay, we face Carl Burbank, also known as Bushwhacker. He's one of the fewer main villains in the Punisher's timeline in the comic book series. He was, in fact, a fun fight. Just watch for Bushwhacker's power punches and you'll be just fine. Dashing and attacking seem to work best for him. And stay out of his zone of play, try to attack in between his attacks. Because if you don't, you get hit with his mutated right arm that shoots all types of bullets and missiles. Once we finally defeat Bushwhacker, the train with the Kingpin's goods were destroyed, which was enough to push some of his buttons. Which, ladies and gents, piss the fat bastard off. So now Kingpin has a target put on Frank Castle's head. That's fine. They'll die like the rest of them. Frank loves when the odds are slim to none, dude. What a couple of dumb asses. Oh well, God will sort those bastards out in the afterlife. Pretty much through the stage, it was a shooting frenzy, dude. Punisher be taking out all y'all stupid heroes. He be saying, bam, 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 bam. Think I'm getting a bam, 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 bam. For some reason, I wasn't as trigger happy. I was taking my sweet time killing the bastards one by one. I wasn't having this robot shit. But this time, I made sure he ate fucking barrels, dude. Here we fucking go. Oh my fucking god. These grabs are fucking annoying, dude. Fuck, fuck. Get your fucking hands off me, dude. So, you see, dashing in the Punisher is fucking amazing. The way you cancel out shooting and dash to attack is fucking gold. Try this on for size. Fuck! Okay. They knocked the Uzi out of my fucking hands. Let's see if we could try this again. Fuck! Come on, dude! Ugh. Why do I even fucking try, dude? Just why? Fuck this. Eat rapid fire. I'll pick up the pipe. No, 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 the jousted lance will do just perfectly. Hell yeah, shish kebabbing these bastards couldn't have felt any better. I swear the Punisher's delivers. And I'm loving it thus far, ladies and gents. Funny when I play in this stage, I'm getting Streets of Rage 2 vibes. I think we know what I'm talking about.
fucking tired of these ninjutsu bitches, dude. After that was taken care of, we fight yet another guard droid. You're a hoppy bastard, eh? Oh, nice, you bring out your group robo bitches. Ugh, fuck me, dude. Well, we finally scraped the red tin can to bits, and now we are gonna put a nice sized boot up Kingpin's ass. And if you like the content, ladies and gents, be sure to arcade tap the subscribe button as well. Okay, we are in the final stage and we enter Kingpin's mansion. I really start using Frank's special moves more than often. At that moment, I too started burning all these bastards. I too started to give my fair shares of Azuna drops myself. <laughs> Now we reach the roof of the elevator, and now we fight Billy Russo, also known as Jigsaw, which is one of Frank's dangerous enemies in the Marvel comics. I see Billy giving us a lot of welcoming gifts of explosions, but I wasted no time giving him two hot ones in the chest, dude. Now we enter Kingpin's main lounge. We start with a dash attack, but then Kingpin grabs me like yesterday's trash and flings me back where I stand. Kingpin wasn't hard, but fuck. Does he have a lot of assistance with his goons, dude? I try to avoid him for a bit just so I can get the rest of his men. Because Capcom gave Kingpin massive poise. Kind of like most grabbers in Street Fighter, you might be able to hit them, but just be prepared for counter intercept grabs in return, ladies and gents. And have to watch out for Kingpin's cigar smoke attack, too. It's quite something. Ugh! You know what? Fuck this. I'm sick of you throwing me, dude. How about I throw your fat ass back? So Frank grabs Kingpin and gives him a Tekken King giant swing into the fucking wall. Frank and Nick were able to stop Kingpin's operation of crime and made Newark once again safe from his clutches of tyranny. Ladies and gents, this was Capcom's The Punisher. So, what's my review for Capcom's The Punisher? Surprisingly, The Punisher was in fact downright awesome. I mean, the moment I saw the gameplay style was similar to Final Fight, I knew right away this game was going to freaking rock dude. The level development was gold. The game design was gold. And the music composing was gold. From the play style to weapon selections were really fun. And the mix-ups in combat was just too damn fun. And for that, Capcom's The Punisher gets a juicy nine razor hearts out of 10. The Punisher is one of those games you wouldn't expect Capcom to make, to be so damn fun as it was, dude. I mean, like seriously? Noritaka Funamizu and Akira Yasuda made this game just simply amazing. I highly recommend you to play this title. You'll love it, ladies and gents. That's a huge promise. You can get this game on PC's Steam Look for the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. I'll be sure to post a link down below. And oh, before I forget, we have new Stay Retro merch in the Retro Store. Be sure to support us and rock your very own Cindy t-shirts while rocking out playing games, ladies and gents. We have my Cindy Retro collection, and we have stickers that you can place on your fridge, on your laptop, and desktop computer tower. And a cool game on Cindy coffee mug. So be sure to get yours, ladies and gents. If you all like the reviews and my sexy ass, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button down below. And most importantly, Stay retro, my sexy little maggots.